Take off all my makeup, cause I love what's under it. Rub off all your words, Hello, you don't guys, give up. I'm over Today it. I want to show you how to make a window with an architrave. Uh, this is the reference that I used. We're going to make a round window and we're going to make, sorry, <laughs> I'm going to make the architrave as well. So I'm opening the archicad and first of all I'm going to work in the ground floor and then we're going to convert what we're doing here into a window and we're going to apply it to a wall. So let's try to draw for a moment. Uh, let's make it two meters right and let me use some lines as well. So this is going to be four meters. It's just a reference for me. In order to make the architrave, we're going to need to create a shape that's going to be in a section, but I'm going to draw it still in, uh, here in this plane. So first I'm going to see the dimensions that I need. So I'm going to be 0.3, which is going to be 30 centimeters. And I think 10 centimeters is enough. So 0.1. This is not how I wanted to say. Okay. Okay, so we're going to imagine this is going to go around. So now let's make the section of it. And I'm needing, yeah, I'm going to try to create something similar, but not as, with well, not as many lines because it's really hard to make and it's going to make this really difficult. But I'm just going to try. This half and this half. In order to see uh, the half uh, in a section, you need to make sure you have the snap guides and points turned on. So it's switched on. And my is switched on on half. So any selection that you have, it's gonna, you, you're going to see the half here. So this half and then you're going to see the half of this spot. Right. Now I'm going back to the image. So I see something really flat here. And I'm going to move the point because I want to go down. Right, and I, I want to go like this, and then I want to have this rounded. So I'm going to use, if you if you just drag this point, you can see the options that you have here. Then you use fillet. That's what I use. Let's see. Okay, and I'm going to use it again on this side. Yep, yeah, that's nice. And oh, you know what? I think I'm going to go up a bit. Then I'm going to go like this one, like this. This is definitely really fake. This is not how it looks. Let's try and make a point here. Then, good. Two. Now let's see if it will let me do this side as well. Yep. Good. Now this one here. Yep, that's good. So I'm actually rounding all the corners in order to create this shape. Now that I have the section of it, I will need to fill it. That's why we're going to use the fill. So as you guys know, the space bar functions as a magic tool. So if your cursor is an, in the shape, is inside, and then you press space, you're going to see the magic wand. If you click, the space will be filled with fill. Great. Now, in order to create a profile, we need to go to Design, Complex Profiles, Profile Manager. 
And now we're going to create a custom profile that we're going to use uh, to make the architrave. Now, new. I'm going to make it R Archie. I'm just lazy. Archie one. Okay. And now I need to make sure I'm copying this shape. So copy into here. Now I'm going to put, yes, this is the one. I'm going to drag it. I want to, you need to make sure you use this point. So this is going to be your starting point in the corner. Now we're going to make it stretch in all ways, horizontal, vert vertical, and then I'm going to create this as finish. And I would like to make it wall. Or I would, I would, I would like to make it beam <laughs> and override. Now it's here. That's great. Now let's go back to our ground floor. This is saved. I'm going to my ground floor. I'm going to move this thing away. I like it. I just don't need it yet. And I'm going to move the line. So considering uh, this is a circle that we're going to use as a window, I want to go with beam. In order to use the profile that we just created, double click. Here, we're going to complex profile. We're going to select complex profile. And this gives us the liberty to choose from the profiles that we created. So I'm going to custom. And if you remember the name I put is R key one. And of course you are able to change the materials. So I think I'm gonna make it titanium of white. Okay, and now if you want to put the beam on this round shape. Do you remember what I said about the magic tool that we have, which is space? So holding space and clicking on the circle. Great. Now let's go to generic perspective to see what we've done. This is really far away from our point. I'm going back to ground floor. The only thing is uh, you're not able to see my beam, so I'm going to go to the options. I don't want to make it three meters, so I want to put it zero. And now you're going to see it in ground floor. Okay. Now let's make uh, the actual window. So what I'm going to do, I'm going on slab. And I want to use, let's use some wood. wood. Let's use this one. Okay. Now, here you can see it, it's inside. What I'm going to do, I'm going to make the glass as well. And now I'm, let's use the fast and holding space and clicking, you can make the round shape. Now, of course, you cannot see it, but what I'm going to do, if you make sure you have the magnetic tool activated, and you click, this is the last slab that I've done, which is the glass one, this is how you recognize them. Now let's make it smaller. So I'm going here to the offset all edges. And I'm gonna offset 10 centimeters. And then I'm gonna show you something really interesting. So this if you go to perspective, you can see the glass is actually in the middle, but you cannot see through. So we need to cut the circle here. So I'm going to ground floor, and this is the one. And I'm going to, as you know, when you click on a point, you can, uh, uh, this tool will open. 
and then I want to subtract so subtract and holding the space key I'm subtracting the glass now as you can see right well this looks really nice another thing that I want to do is I want to push down the glass so drag it and I'm dragging it here but what I'm, I'm gonna make it zero three sorry zero three nice and now the glass is in the middle so I'm going back to ground floor now in order to create a window I need to make another slab and this is the one with the air. I need to make it as big as the window is. So I'm going to go back to the wood frame and I want to change the settings and uh, here where you see ID you need to change it to wall Now I'm selecting everything I've done and I'm going to save this going to File, Libraries and Objects, Save Selection as, Window, I'm just going to put 0, 1 and I'm going to click on Save. In order to see what we've done, we need to create a wall. This is going to be our wall and go into window. The last window that's selected here is the last one that we've created, which is really lucky. So this one, and I'm going to click, I'm clicking on the other side. Right. And we need to make, of course, this wall taller. There it goes, our window is really big. Great, I'm going to change the material to titanium and what. Right, when I'm moving around, I see something a bit weird in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the window and reveal to wall core I'm going to make it 30 centimeters as you remember I've made 30 so 0 0.3 and this is moving inside the wall and now it's amazing so this is on now you can delete what you've done here if you don't want to change anything about your window you can always go back here change it and then save it again but if you're sure this is the correct design you need just delete it great thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time